Electricity, the lifeblood of economic development. Without it, no country can succeed. With it, almost anything is possible. In Afghanistan, we need to earn the trust of Afghans. So what infrastructure do Afghans need more than anything? All the major polls show it. Afghans want electricity more than anything else. But 70% of Afghanistan has no power grid. So how do we get electricity out there fast? The answer? Imagine a renewable energy power plant in a portable shipping container. Imagine giving electricity to any Afghan village in as little as a few days with no fuel costs. At Sustainable Energy Services Afghanistan, we can make that dream a reality with containerized energy systems. For years, small diesel generators have been the choice for aid agencies. But Afghan villagers often can't afford the fuel. Dr. Sultan Sultania has a diesel generator to make clean water for his clinic in the Panjshir Valley. We have engine, but we haven't fuel. Even when villagers can get fuel, it often has to be guarded. So generators sit idle, and development projects fail. And we haven't uh, built uh, Buduje for the buying fuel and uh, uh, put the engine and on the engine and pump the water. We haven't, we haven't this Buduje. It can leave Afghans disillusioned with their government, and that will not earn their trust. So, is there a better way? The answer is containerized energy from CESA. With the solar power, yes, we can make healthy water, yeah. Solar power, wind power, and a diesel backup, it all feeds neatly into a container assembled at the CESA compound in Kabul. We do the time-consuming work here in Kabul, where it's safer and faster. Containerized energy works like this. The turbines charge a battery pack through inverters. Battery power is converted to AC for the villagers. On rare occasions, when there is no wind or sun, a diesel backup automatically kicks in. The power supply is constant, no matter what the weather. One container can provide electricity for an average-sized Afghan village. When all the parts are in the box, we ship it out. While we build the container, the villagers can put up the wires. We train the villagers here in Kabul. They pour the concrete and put up the power lines. Then we come through and do the final installation. Final installation is fast because everything is already assembled. Security risks are lowered because the lights are on and the workers are gone before the enemy even knows they were there. Sabotage has not been a problem. So far, the communities have protected the systems, so we haven't found security to be a problem. And CISA, containerized energy systems, are very reliable. Afghanistan is not the place for experimenting with equipment. So at CISA, all our systems are tested and proven. Problems, maintenance, and fuel costs are just about zero. The wind and sun are free. There is a low maintenance. And at CISA, we don't just provide power. We train Afghan women and men. In a very short time, the villagers have power, and the aid agency can close the budget and chalk up a major development success. At CISA, we do it all for you.